Whew, it's been a long day. Let me show you how we went from that guy up there to this whole new setup. Today we're in the middle of a solar upgrade on my uh, 2021 19.3 Nobo travel trailer. So um, this is kind of straightforward in one way and not in another. So what I'm gonna be doing is uh, I'm gonna be upgrading my Go Power 100 watt solar panel that's up top. It was one of the flexible solar panels and it just finally gave up. And um, I'm gonna be installing two 190 watt panels, but I'm gonna be doing that on top of a rhino rack that was already on top of this roof that I never use just because it's too high up. I don't like loading stuff up on my roof anyway. And so um, I'm gonna run some bars there, some crossbars to mount those solar panels. Um, but before we do that, I just wanna show you how I upgraded my charge controller. The first thing that I had to do, because I am going with two 190 watt solar panels, is I had to upgrade to a 30 amp charge controller. So I went with this Rover, this is a Renogi. 30 amp uh, MPPT charge controller. And this was basic. This one does have a Bluetooth connection, which is really nice, but um, you know, it does have its drawbacks. You have to connect to it every single time, redo your Bluetooth setup. So that is a bit annoying, but I do like all the options this one gives me. I can, you know, go through, I can see how many amps I'm drawing. I can see what's charging right now, how that's going, what my voltage is on my panel and then uh, how many amps are coming in at my panel and so on. It's very basic. I pulled the old charge controller off, uh, put my new mounting brackets here and uh, just reconnected it. Two wires from the battery, two wires from the solar panel. And uh, you know, like I said, it just screws right back onto the wall. Hopefully the wall is strong enough to hold it. This is pretty thin stuff. So we'll see there. Now you don't have to go with the charge controller like I did. You don't have to do the Bluetooth. You don't have to necessarily go with this MPPT, uh, but I wanted something that I could upgrade if I want to add another panel once I remove this old one. Uh, then I could have three panels up there and I don't have to worry about any more upgrades in the future. So um, yeah, just kind of, you know, do some research, ask around on your forums and whoever's in your trailer group and see what they've done. And then I would just go with that. So uh, we're gonna go outside now. I'm gonna show you my whole setup that I have going on out there. And then we're gonna start putting panels on the roof. So you can see here what I had. And I just went ahead and disconnected that. And this is where I'm going, so. This was a rhino roof rack that was up here. So now those crossbars are going to go in and we'll screw them into place. Put the panel in and uh, I think it'll work. So it's just a sliding T-slot and these go in there and lock into place. And then I have my mounting holes up here that I drilled in the C-channel. Now I went with C-channel. There's a few different options that you can use. Um, but I went with the C channel just because I can access it on both sides. And so uh, this is basically going to mount on the roof side. And then the panels are going to bolt through here through the frame of the panel itself. And they're going to bolt onto here and uh, it's just going to hold it into place. So pretty simple, not bad at all. So yeah, let's see how that works out. And there it is. So time to tighten everything up. I just left everything loose. I just left everything loose so that I had enough wiggle room to get all of it on here. Vent pipe's in the way. Vent pipe. So I gotta take that guy off. Also, this is why you come up on your roof. You see that? I gotta fix that guy. <clears throat> take the security out and get these ones off. But and then they just slide out. So you can see how these new ones are just a bolt and they just slide in there like that. So washer, split washer, and then a nut. 
Kids are having fun over there. Ouch. There we go. And there they are. Bolted into place. Rock solid. So I'm gonna hook up the wiring right now. And in order to do that, let me show you what I got. So to hook these up, I just went ahead and I picked up a couple. These are a uh, uh, Bouge RV. Bougie RV? I don't know. Picked them up off of Amazon and just a couple of pigtails. And now what I can do is I take one from one side and it just snaps in. At least it should anyway. I'll line up your clips. There we go. So I got one from one side. I'm gonna take this other one from the other side and try to keep it as clean as possible. Again, those are snapping in place. All right, I'm gonna take the other one over here. Make sure to follow these out cleanly. All right. Again, that snaps into place. That snaps into place. And now I've got a 15 foot cable that I'm just gonna tie into here and tie into my old connection. So I got everything all plugged in here. Um, Make sure you match up your positives and your negatives, right? On this end here, the pokey one, right? The male is positive. Pokey is positive. Just going right back in the same way they came out. Pokey is positive. Let's go see if it worked. Just playing around with it here. Watching my amperage change as I start turning more and more things on. That's the beauty of this MPPT uh charge controller so it'll boost it'll shoot up to 20 amps and then you know kind of adjust it as it needs it which it's really cool so anyway well it looks like everything's working it is hot i'm gonna go up there i'm gonna tidy everything up tape everything down uh patch that spot it's about 100 degrees in here if i sound tired if i look tired it's because i am uh, but I don't have any error codes. Everything seems to be working perfectly. So uh, I'm going to go up there. I'm going to tidy everything up, tape that down. I'll throw that at the end of the video so that you can see what that looks like. Um, if you found it helpful, make sure you hit that like button. Um, if you really want to show your appreciation, there's a super thanks option down below. You can become a uh, channel member for uh, some extra perks. And uh, as always, you can subscribe if you want to stick around. Make sure you check out some of my other videos. I don't always work on trailers or cars. I, I do a lot of fishing and outdoor stuff too. So um, yeah, I think that's about it. So uh, thanks for watching, and as always, I'll catch you on the next one.